I think that there is a um, tremendous energy and enthusiasm among Ugandan journalists, uh, and and they're very passionate about about health. Um, but they they need tools and they need to improve their own skills. And so I think all of these programs, in one way or another, um, have been designed to uh, um, make them better able to do the job they want to do um, by giving them resources, by stimulating their ideas about um, what they can do and how they can make a difference, um, by trying to broaden their horizons so that they they realize that they can really have a quite a profound effect, um, not just on advise, advising one individual at a time about health, but really affecting the whole course of public policy. In, in uh, mid-2008, the Daily Monitor, which is published in Kampala, uh, did a series of stories on problems in the hospital system in Uganda, uh, which actually got uh, the, the shorthand term for it was the Sick Hospital series. Uh, and they, uh, um, we learned recently that the uh, government was um, quite embarrassed by those stories and quite concerned about them and uh, was prompted by the stories to apply for a $100 million uh, World Bank loan to um, refurbish the hospital system influential leaders in public health have said that it was because of that story, though that series of stories, that um, the government was prompted to act. This year, there were uh, some, some cases of polio uh, in Uganda, probably came to Uganda from uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo next door to the, to the uh, west, uh, and um, this alarmed health officials. Uh, who, who wanted very badly to see an aggressive vaccination program launched, uh, but it didn't happen for some period of time until a uh, World Health Organization official who uh, had met some journalists at one of our workshops uh, um, told the journalists about his concern, uh, and that prompted um, coverage in the Uganda media that there was a serious threat and that the government was not releasing funding. Uh, they, within a day, the government did release uh, funds for an aggressive campaign. Um, and uh, the, uh, it turned out to be the most successful vaccination program in recent memory. It appears that polio has pretty, pretty much was stopped. Um, and there have not been cases since, since that campaign. Media coverage that um, first of all led to the release of the funds to conduct the campaign and secondly led to the unusually high success rate for the campaign. What's really powerful about the Knight program is that journalists, the, the fellows are there on the ground and they stick around and they really become part of the of the of the, um, the the fabric of where they are, and that's partly because you know we make a substantial commitment. That's a that's a rare thing. Um, that uh, you know ICFJ seems more interested in in the bottom line result than it is in promoting itself. Uh, and I'm actually quite comfortable and actually proud to be part of that.